you know, not a lot of people know this, but the introduction of the Kama Sutra is as fascinating as the text itself, because this is where Vatsyayan, the author of the Kama Sutra, answers a lot of questions that he feels that society will potentially throw at him for writing this text. And so he says at one point, he says, a virgin living in her father's house should, by her wedding night, have all of the knowledge of the Kama Sutra so that after this, she can just focus on becoming an expert at it. Of course, there are some people who say that women are not capable of understanding any kind of science, so it is nothing but a colossal waste of time trying to teach them the Kama Sutra. But how absurd, says Vatsyayan, to forbid the study of this science to women and yet encourage them to practice it. You know, 2000 years have passed since this text was written and we're still fighting the same battle. We still have one half of society who feels that it's really important for a woman to understand her own pleasure, to learn about it, to explore it. And the other half that feels that a woman becomes impure even by simply thinking about it, that somehow a woman's pleasure depends on somebody else's permission. You know, I just want to add for that section of society who feel that it's such a sin. If a woman has not learned how to understand her own pleasure, it's not just a problem for her. It equally impacts both people in the relationship. And that's something for you to think about.